so now we've taken a look at our first practical example of using a conditional block. The operator that we've been using is the is less than operator, this one right here. Let's try using the equality operator. And inside our statement block here, we're going to put exactly three. Let's take a look at our command line and test our script again. As we can see, the condition evaluated false because we set A to 5 up here and then we check to see if A was equal to 3. Now I mentioned in the last movie that the is set to and the equality operators are completely different. Let me just show you something to show why that's the case. What we can do here is to wrongly use the is set to operator to try to compare these two things, variable A and 3. And I'm going to put in a little comment on that line just to remind us that what we're doing here is wrong. It's not actually, won't actually cause an error. It's not invalid Perl code. And there are some instances when you will be wanting to try a condition similar to this. But in the vast majority of cases, it won't do what it looks like it's doing. It won't compare the value of the variable A with the number 3. Let's have a look at what it does by going back to our command prompt and trying it again. For some reason, the conditional block is executed and we've got the message exactly 3. Now what could that reason be? Let's take a look back here and see exactly what we've told Perl to do. Remembering that Perl, like most programming languages, is a very literal environment that treats everything we tell it in a very literal and explicit way. We've told it to set the variable a to the value of 5 and then we've asked, our, asked it to evaluate something. Now what we've done here is within our condition we've used the is set to operator. So it's actually set the value of a to 3 so that when we actually come to this line here, let's add another line in to show the value of a and we're able to show the value of a within the string here because we've used double quotes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually copy that line and put it in again before this entire block happens here. Let's go back to our command prompt and run the script again. So straight after we've first of all set the value of our variable, it's set to 5 which is what we expected. Then once we're inside the block, as we can see, the value of the variable has actually changed. So by using the as set to operator, we've caused ourselves no end of trouble. There is one final thing that needs clearing up about this situation before we remove the error. And that is, if this is not a comparison between two numbers, then how does it evaluate true the answer is that in Perl, like many other programming languages, every expression that we feed to the Perl script evaluates either true or false. So what we're evaluating here is not whether A is similar to 3, but whether our attempt to set the value of the variable A to 3 was successful. And so because that is successful, then it moves on and proceeds to carry out the block. So we should always use the correct operator when we're trying to compare two values.